Alright, so about seven or eight months ago, uh, at this point, I actually made a couple of videos talking about one of my former favorite YouTubers in Marcus Dibble, basically talking about the recent news that we kind of all found out about him, um, that there was confirmed that he was actually caught talking to a 13-year-old girl and basically had to go to court. There was a lot of rumors that he was going to go to jail but at the end of the day because i think the you know kind of all the news and information was leaked out by the media and the guy ended up getting like death threats and that the court basically said ah oh, fuck it this guy's life is probably going to be more hell if he doesn't go to jail but they've kind of just left this guy on the streets now to fend for himself again there was literal confirmation that this guy was getting death threats um he basically couldn't even go outside um, I think there was rumors, you know, of course, his mom and dad and that were all going to go do his shopping. He legitimately couldn't leave the house. That's how bad it really got for this guy. And is it deserved? Um, probably. I mean, some of the shit we found out about Marcus Dibble back then was really fucked. And especially what we found out he was talking about with this, again, underage girl. If you would like to learn more about this, I highly recommend going and checking out my other videos on them. Uh, again, I really can't be fucked explaining it all in this video, but what I am here to do today is actually talk about what happened again with Marcus Dibble. Like, what, what's the official update? Where is he? What's going on? Because what a lot of you don't actually realize is this guy has planned a comeback. Le he legitimately planned a comeback. Yeah, you wouldn't think a man who nearly went to jail for talking to a 13 year old girl could come back, but hey, it's fucking 2022. I mean, Jesus Christ, they elected a vegetable to be their president in the United States. Hey everyone, I'm Jill Biden's husband. <coughs> I wouldn't be, I wouldn't put it past anything at this point if this guy made a comeback. But basically, what Marcus Dibble tried to do was he actually got his Instagram account reactivated and changed the name to Dibble Will BRB, aka B Right Back. He also decided to change the profile picture to the greatest Australian legend of all time, uh, Scott Morrison ScoMo, and decided to post about sheep. Yeah, you fucking, you heard me right. He, he posted about sheep. In fact, when you, when you search, when you go on his Instagram page and you click the link in his bio, it takes you to like fucking top 20 facts about sheep or some shit. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. Like, you could have put in legitimately anything up there. You could have like apologized and put a video on top 10 facts on how to not to be a sex offender and talk to 13 year old girls. He could have fucking put any video. But I don't know. There was... He not only posted pictures about sheep, which confused the hell out of everyone, but he would often also kind of release, a, unprivate a picture that he released in like 2016 or not. For example, the picture he's kind of got on his Instagram account right now with some uh, gorgeous looking guy um, that says, a bit cheeky, but leave it X if you would give me a lap dance. Of course, he has uh, limited comments because again, I wanted a lap dance from this guy, but I can't comment it. And he commented x himself and two guys commented x as well i don't know who these guys are um i don't know why how they were able to comment but yeah this just is really that he also again posted a thing basically setting up a wwe match between gladys and uh my you know i i, I don't want to say anything positive or negative i'm fucking sick and tired of talking about this guy but it's dan andrews he posted a wwe match a sullen hell or Helena Soul of Dan Andrews and Gladys. And that was 28 weeks ago. But what a lot of people don't actually know, which he didn't actually archive at all, or archive rather, was he actually posted a story, um, which I don't have the screenshot to it. I absolutely promise that it is real. Again, I'm sure you guys can back me up in the comments. I mean, he has like, what, 70 plus thousand followers? Like 94.8 at the time I'm making this video. I guarantee a lot of you guys would have seen this as well, but he actually talked about basically saying that not every story you hear is true, and that he would eventually be having an explanation video come out very soon, and again, his side of the story will be getting told. So again, it's seven months down the road now, we're still waiting for this video. I don't know where he is, I don't know if someone stole him and locked him in their basement, or he ended up somehow going to jail. Who, who even knows where this man is? Again, last time I checked, he wasn't leaving the house and he was sending mummy and daddy to go to his groceries because people wanted his head. So, I don't know where he is. I would, ultimately, I'm open. I'm open for discussion. I would love to see 
um, this guy come out and put out a video saying, like, actually proving us wrong, saying that maybe Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 10, Channel 69 was all wrong, and that he's not a sex offender, and that none of this ever happened, he's got reason to prove that it didn't. But we know that's not fucking true. We know that is not true. I mean, the fact is, there's like screenshots of him talking to this girl. There is screenshots basically asking if he can take pictures of her naked, which I'm, I'm kind of jealous. I wish someone would ask me if I, if I could take pictures of me, but that's basically, it's, it's proof. Like, unless someone photoshopped the fuck out of those pictures, which again, I would hope that all these news stations did the media coverage and all of this stuff back on it, but we know it's not true again. I don't know what, if he's going to come back, but he did say he would be. And that's why I thought I'd make this video to kind of let you all know that he did say he was basically going to be sharing the news soon. And I, if I check my John Cena watch real quick, that video was seven to eight months ago of him pretty much getting exposed the fuck out of. So where he is, if he'll actually make a comeback, I'm not sure. But for some reason, deep down inside, I have a feeling that he will for some reason. Something's going to... He's either going to post something on Instagram, or a YouTube video will come out, and he's going to get a fuck ton of hate, like, that's obvious, but... And what he would have to say would have to be so groundbreaking for him to make a comeback. Like, it would have to be more groundbreaking than Logan Paul's comeback from 2018, like... I mean, no one believed he was ever going to come back, but again, I think what he did was a little bit different to uh, Marcus Dibble, so I probably shouldn't be comparing, but fuck, for, you know... Maybe he will. I'm not too sure, but that's why I thought I'd update you guys just to basically tell you that, yes, he was still posting on Instagram for quite a while. Um, you know, I think a lot of people didn't realize that, especially considering his account was deactivated when he kind of got, you know, roasted and cancelled. Um, again, it was activated shortly after, which a lot of people missed. And of course, he is expected to... I, I apologize, I don't know, but explain what's happened, and again, as he said, there's always two sides to the story, and that uh, he's got his side to share, and I guess we're still waiting on it, so definitely make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you guys think Marcus Dibble will ever post this video, if he will ever make a comeback, I would really like to know, go subscribe to my gaming channel and my sports channel, links for them will be in the description down below, but as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.